Uh, Welcome to Gold Derby. I'm senior editor Denton Davidson here with Warren Cole, who plays Jeff Sadecki in Showtime's massive hit, Yellow Jackets. Warren, fans are going crazy for this. Uh, season two is off with a bang. Season one was a huge hit. What's this been like for you just to have sort of a show with that kind of a cult following? And what's the craziest thing that you're hearing from, from fans? I've been doing this a while, Denton. And... You know, you think you're going to be part of something sensational. You've got all the signs that tell you, hey, this is going to be, this is going to resonate with an audience. And sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But Yellow Jackets just hit the bullseye Yeah. with the time it came out, with the way they're going to tell this story, the clarity that the creators had with their vision. I've never been a part of anything so well received. Um the pressure is kind of off me as an actor on this because it's really not about uh, my character or anything like that. I get to play a good uh, supporting role and do what I can with the time I've got on the field, which is great um, for me. I think the most impressive thing is, you know, you've captured an audience when everyone is thoughtfully theorizing about what's motivating, what's next, what's behind, um, what's underneath uh, the, the story and the characters. And I just get to sit back and, and you know, I, I have interviews like this one where I'm asked about, you know, what do I think about the character and why is he doing this and that? And in a way, it's gotten to a point, I don't want to betray everybody else's ideas. I don't want to cheapen what they've done with my process you know, um, why ruin it? Right. You know, let's what is your it. process? Because I read that Melanie Linsky's not really a rehearser. I heard she likes to just kind of show up and and kind of feel what happens throughout the day. I don't know what your process is as an actor, but is it the same? And if it's different, how do you how do you work with someone when you have a different acting process? Well, she's well, she's just incredibly difficult that way. You know, she's she's a problem on set <laughs> consistently <laughs> and all of this attention that she's getting it's it's uh, clearly going to her head she's not thinking about how hard this is for the rest of us when she just comes in and just blows through and it's just obviously has superior instincts and intuitions and steals all the scenes <laughs> you know that's what it's like i don't know man like everybody works a little differently um I do my best to sort of flow with that. And hopefully I've got the, uh, the training and the craftsmanship to keep up or adjust or whatever. Melanie is right up my alley because she's not afraid to go up there and just jam and just see what happens. She trusts herself and she trusts uh, the actor across from her to do that. Um, someone like, you know, if, if I were like Jennifer Lopez, she would be more of like approach it like a dancer where she likes to know what the steps are going to be and she wants to work that out so the choreography is comfortable um or ray Liotta in the same show it was a little more like melanie he wants to find it even to more of an extreme like this film process where let's just have the baby on the day and see how that goes and it turns out brilliant um i really enjoy her I really enjoy her because she's got great taste and she's just came in right away with this subtle, very clear expression of this character that I found myself getting lost in even while we were working, <laughs> <laughs> which actually kind of works for Jeff because he's such a sort of a blank slate to start. Um, and he's discovering the changes in his wife as they're happening. Um, it's been a it's been a real pleasure with her. She's real generous in all seriousness. And it's been fun to watch Jeff this season because he's kind of he you are getting more sort of a storyline this year and in, in the relationship that's building with Sean and they're at a crossroads. He feels like maybe he's a little too boring. She might be a little more sexually experimental. Um, she's a little more rogue. Um, but do you think that kind of excites him in a way? Like I, I feel like they're start like they're really the truth is coming out after all these years. Like they're both finally just letting everything fly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, 25 years into a marriage, I've never been in some long relationships. 
you can get complacent and you can get a fall asleep. And we've kind of caught up to them at that point and uh, of, of an awakening in their marriage where they're stepping out of the shadows for very crucial reasons. And uh, that's fun. That's fun because even in the, like the process of being on a show, you're there's an osmosis that has to happen before you know where your direction is and, and you can hook into something and who you are and uh, as the character. And that, at least for me, uh, was really helpful as the Jeff storyline progressed. He's sort of discovering things about himself. He's just discovering maybe he does get excited by Melanie uh, or Shauna's behavior. Um, but you know, that excitement is a lot of anxiety. You know, sure, it's it's energy, but he's he's terrified. He's terrified that she's manifesting into something that he doesn't understand and that he can't control and that may ultimately rip rip his whole world apart. So he can either adjust to that and he can grow and he can discover his own potential one way or the other. Um or he can run away, or he can fall apart. Well, the drama of it all is captivating to watch, but I, what I really love is sort of, there's this underlying humor at times throughout it. I love the carjacking scene where, I mean, he's like, what the hell are you doing? And she's just going for the gun. Um, yeah. How do you balance that as an actor, the humor and the drama? Do you play that the same way? Because uh, you've done both throughout your career. Yeah. This the, Hey, this show has been a pleasure in that I'm not some brooding pathological character <clears throat> which can be really interesting and you can really screw the lid off of characters like that and and do things that aren't acceptable normally um it's a bit of a needle to thread uh but the writing is very helpful so as long as you're honest with uh what the stakes are and what's going on and, and you trust that uh the humor will be there, you know? Yes, it's crazy. What are you doing? Like, why, wh how are you, like, what's going on here? And when she doesn't know either, that's confounding. And I guess the timing, both on Melanie's part and me kind of drafting what she's doing, it's funny. <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good tension breaker. And we've maybe all discovered that together somewhere in season one that we could, we could do that and not uh, betray the story at all, but maybe even make it a more interesting organism than it was before. It's also been interesting to see their daughter um, sort of come forward this season. Callie, she's played by Sarah Desjardins. Jardins. Um, and, you know, teenagers are already sort of annoyed and embarrassed by their parents. And she's getting all of this laid on her, especially by Shauna, who confessed in, in one of the most recent episodes that she she told their daughter everything and, and just like, why again? Um, what's it like to to have, to bring that storyline into the fold and work with Sarah? Sarah's great. Uh, she deserved to be brought in more. That's a it's the triumvirate. It's complete in this family of now crime. Um, she's so Sarah is such a thoughtful person you she's not like her character really at all but she definitely gets it i think she's close enough to that age and that generation to totally get it and portray that um she's she's a pro she, she's great it's wonderful to have as many elements as possible playing off of each other and a triangle is a very strong uh shape so to bring callie into this thing is uh even more dynamic and maybe uh it's more for jeff to deal with and handle but you know that also raises the stakes too how much can he take how how much danger is he willing to put his daughter in here is is he does he have some psychological problems too how much is he going to put up with is he being loyal or is he being is he just a scaredy cat at this point you know and and Callie may help to define some of that and play proxy between him and Shauna. And, and uh, that's really cool. 
good potential there. In terms of the writing, it, it's so out there and it's so bizarre. There's so much mystery um, and that's what's so captivating about it. But as an actor, do you get that information early and do you want it early? I mean, how, how much do you get to know in terms of the mystery that the audience is waiting for? Mm. I just, I, you know, I, I don't need to know a whole bunch. I think um, there are plot points where I ask, you know, if Jeff knows it, maybe I can know this too. Um, that's, that's helpful for me, maybe not for everybody. Uh, but again, I think that the writers and the creators know everything that that's coming, maybe not everything, but they've got a really strong outline of what's going on. Um, for the characters just to deal with what's in front of them, which is kind of how that the, our storyline is going, it totally works. And uh, um, you don't have to be too specific one way or the other in terms of the mystery, just be honest to what the scenes are and um, keep that tension, which is really something the show runs on um, so far really nicely. And as someone who's worked in TV and show business for two, two decades plus, you know, what, what are you enjoying about the, mo the most about your career right now in this moment, um, in terms of, of, of where you are? I have been very muscular in, in how I've approached the work. You know, you bring your blunch pail, you bring your hard hat, you go and you just be, you're prepared and, you have to be, you have to do it right. And I don't know, I've, I've always been waiting for it to just lock in and for me to be able to relax and just enjoy the craft and feel comfortable enough. And in this show, maybe it's the combination of the show and maybe the age I'm at and how many years I've been doing it, that's starting to happen. And and just go out there and and play the scene and and enjoy it. Uh, that this may be the most I've enjoyed the work and that has a lot to do with the confidence of the material and the unity of all of everybody on it, the crew and the cast and the trust, that tacit trust that I felt from everybody to like, there's no wrong things here. You know, don't, don't beat yourself up too much. I can be pretty hard on myself. Just relax and, and do it. That is um a wonderful feeling uh for an actor like me to just relax and enjoy the enjoy it a little bit don't show that you're having you know, don't ruin it and and just goof off and you know that way but it's it should be fun there should be an element of fun in there and uh i've i found that on this show yeah you mentioned Jennifer Lopez and Ray Liotta. Um, of course, you started with them in Shades of Blue, and we lost Ray sadly over the last year. And I'm just curious, you know, what's a what memories do you have, or or what's something that stood out to you when you first got to set with Ray Liotta? I mean, were you scared of him? Was it what was what, yeah. what was the what was the whole experience like? Yeah, highly intimidated. Yeah, I sat next to him. I think at the table read for the pilot. It was the first time I met him. Didn't know what to do. Didn't know what to say. A million things going through your head. Sirens going off. How do I break the ice with this guy? But he, I think everybody. It was easier to talk to Jennifer. She was a little more disarming right out of the gate. I he doesn't. He just struck me as a guy who you know he's been doing it long enough. He doesn't like to waste his time with chit chat and bullshit or anything like that. If you've got something interesting to talk about, he's all ears. And he whips that, whipped out that fantastic laugh of his. And you knew that you were engaged with this guy. And, um, you know, after that, it's just, I can't wait to work with him. I can't wait to see how that goes and how he approaches things. And, um, yeah, I learned a lot from him and, I miss that guy. Yeah. Um, and in, in bringing it back to Yellow Jackets, just as a final question, I mean, season one was so well received. Seven Emmy nominations, including Best Drama Series. What did it feel different than to come back to the set for season two? Sort of with that 
you know, the first season you're making a pilot, you're hoping for the best. The second season, you have been recognized as one of the best shows on mm -hmm. television. So what does that feel like when you go back for season two? Yeah, season one, you don't know what you're, how this, how is this going to come together? How How is this any, is this going to work? Because I feel like we're shooting this show over here in my, in our house and there's some other show being shot, you know, and the, by the trailers, you know, you've got dirty people in rags, walk young kid, the cast walking around. So I don't know how they're going to weave all this together. Very ambitious. And then you see what they did and it's fantastic. It's a wonderful tapestry of a show. And so everybody's more confident with what they've got. It is, it works. Um, so maybe there's a grasping of the walls a little bit more. We don't want to mess this up. We don't want to uh, betray anybody. We don't betray our audience or anything. But I think once you get grooving, you just go with it. It's that much more. You can sense, hey, we're more confident. We know what works. So we can lean into that a little bit more. And uh, we can listen to the response. We can pay attention to that and draft uh, that a little bit. Um, it's, it's, it's the same thing. It's just a little more confident and in a way it's a little more relaxed because you know, you've got something. And you've seen what those kids have been up to now that you, <laughs> now that you saw the whole episode. Yeah. Um, Warren, it's been a pleasure to speak with you about Yellow Jackets today. Season two is currently airing on Showtime. It's as exciting as ever, and we hope to see you in the show. Um, more of the cast, including yourself, invited back to the Emmys this year. Warren, thanks for chatting with Gold Derby today. Thank you very much, brother. Mm -hmm.